Hello, I'm Paul with ESI and I'm going to show you how easy it is to program and use the programmable feature keys on your ESI desktop phone. There are two ways to program the DSS keys on our ESI desktop phone. The first way is used when we want to program just one button at a time. The second way is used when we want to program more than one button in a single setting. Let's look at the first way first. All we have to do is press the DSS key and hold it down until the system begins to speak to us. This is the same way you program the buttons in your car. This key is not programmed. Enter the number for the line key, a station, mailbox, speed dial number, ACD department key, or other feature. To confirm, press the programmable feature key again. You can also use the EasyDex key to select a station, speed dial, or feature. Enter the letters for the name, or to confirm, press the pound key. For details, thank you. Goodbye. What we just did was programmed extension 4100 onto that button, because that's the party we wish to program onto that key. On the ESI60 desktop phone, you'll notice that it gives you the option of changing the lettering for that key. That's because this phone is a desiless phone. On all other ESI model phones, you do not get the option of changing what you see on the display when you program the button. That only occurs on the ESI60 desktop phone. So now we have a button programmed for our operator, extension 4100, on the key. As you can see on the display, it shows us that key is programmed for the operator. That was programming a single button. Now if we want to program more than one button at a time, we do the program to option. In other words, we press the program help key followed by the to key. Press the programmable feature key you wish to program, enter the new number, and to confirm, press the same programmable feature key again. Now we can program multiple keys at a time. All keys that are previously programmed will show up in red or in another color on our display as you can see. So let's press another key. This key is not programmed. Enter the number for the line key, a station, mailbox, speed dial number, ACD department key, or other feature. To confirm, press the programmable feature key again. You can also use the EasyDex key to select a station, speed dial, or feature. Enter the letters for the name, or to press the programmable feature key you wish to program. Enter the new, this key is not... Enter the letters for the next press the programmable feature key you wish to pro. Okay, we've now programmed two more keys at a time for extensions. You'll notice you do not have to listen to everything that the auto tenant's going to tell you. You can just begin dialing extension numbers if you know the extension you wish to put in. Now, if you don't know what you want to put on the key, such as a special feature, that's where we're going to use the EasyDex capability. We're going to program a key. We'll press the EasyDex button twice to take us into key programming, and it'll look like this. This key is not programmed. Press the menu key. Now we scroll until we find the feature that we want. Enter the letters for the name or to thank you. Goodbye. Now you'll notice we've programmed that key for personal greeting number one, which is our end greeting, and that the key also lights up to reflect that that function's active. That's all there is for programming buttons on your phone. You can program them one at a time by merely holding the button down until the system begins to speak to you, or if you want to program more buttons than one at a time, press program followed by two and then select the feature you want using EasyDex capability or just dial an extension or line number that you choose. That's all there is to program new buttons on your phone. Now that I've shown you how easy it is to program the feature keys using your ESI desktop phone, I'm going to show you another way to program the feature keys using the ESI Personal Programmer software tool. Now let's look at how easy it is to program the DSS keys on our ESI desktop handset using the ESI Personal Programmer software tool. When we go to log in, on the very first time we'll expand this screen so that we can put in the extension number to attach to and that extension's password. The IP address and port prefix numbers do not need to be changed by us as the Personal Programmer tool will discover those addresses and populate those fields for us automatically. 
Upon login, you see the personal programmer screen that it has three main tabs at the top. The one we're interested in today is station settings. Under the station settings tab, we want to click the feature keys button, and this brings up a programming screen for our handset. The button representations are unique to each type of handset, and today we're working on the ESI60 desktop phone. This phone has 16 buttons per window, with two windows giving us a combined total of 32 buttons per phone. We can toggle between the two windows by clicking the button down here at the bottom, which moves us between the first screen and the second screen. On the left, you can see the options that are available to us. Let's look at stations. Underneath the Stations tab are all of the extensions currently populated on this telephone system. It's a simple click and drag operation to bring one of these extensions across and put it on a button. So let's grab our operator and drag it over to the top button. We've now programmed the top button on our phone as the operator's extension. We can add other members such as Sally and Bob by doing click and drag operations and putting them on an unassigned key as well. If we want to move over to some feature key programming, we can do that by opening this tab up and all of the various features that are available to us are displayed here on the left hand side of the screen. Once again, we'll do a quick, simple uh, click and drag operation to bring these over. Let's assume we want a caller ID key. Click and drag and bring it over. We want a headset. Bring it over and drop it on a button. Maybe you want some personal greeting keys. Well, let's bring those over as well. Simple click and drag operation, putting them on the button of our choice. It can be any button that you want to put it on. We can continue on in this fashion until we've filled up all 16 buttons on the first screen. Then we can move to the second screen by clicking the tab at the bottom, and it brings up the representation for the second window. And again, we populate those keys with extensions, special features, or whatever we'd like to put on those buttons. Once we're happy that we've programmed the phone the way we want, we click OK and the phone has now been updated to reflect our selections. That's all we have to do at this point to program the feature keys on the personal programmer and we can close the tool now by clicking OK. As you can see it's a very simple operation using this tool to program your ESI desktop phone. Want more details on this feature? Press the help key on your phone at any time or visit us on the web at www.esi-stech.com dot com forward slash users.